Um, thanks. Hi, everyone. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, New Year's Day uh, at HGTV, uh, the day of a thousand tweets, as we call it. Um, so happy 2014. Uh, how many people remember what they did on New Year's Eve? All of New Year's Eve? Uh, <laughs> How about uh, how about New Year's Day? What did mo what did people do? Ate Chinese food. Um, this is probably a good representation of what most people did on New Year's Day. They still had a little bit of drinking. There's Emily still hanging out there. Um, there's uh, right sports. It was cold as hell here, so a lot of people by the fireplace. A little bit of a, of a hangover. Um, this is what my New Year's Day started off with. Happy New Year! Fire up your smartphones and tablets. It's almost go time here, and we want to hear from you all day long. Listen to it. It's a Twitter party, so use hashtag HGTV New Year. So uh, this is this is the Rose Parade. Am I? Do I need to like stand somewhere else? Um, so we do the Rose Parade every year. We've been doing it for, I think this is our 18th or 19th year. Uh, it is shown without commercial interruption. Uh, what was really cool is um, before, right before the parade even started, before we thank the, the sponsor of the show, boom, the Property Brothers talking about what we're going to do that day, which is we're live tweeting all day long. Uh, using hashtag HGTV New Year. So this is the first time ever that HGTV has shown tweets on air. So it was a pretty big day um, for us. And so these are some of the tweets that we actually put up on the TV. So Rose Parade, forever be my one and only New Year's Day tradition. Hashtag Rose Parade, hashtag HGTV New Year. We saw a lot of that, a lot of people... Um, it's become part of their family tradition. Um, they're hanging out with their grandma. They're hanging out with their parents. Um, here's another thing. Uh, so excited for the parade. Go Rosemont High School Band. So the interesting thing is because we don't have a commercial interruption, um, we can actually show all of the marching bands. So for anyone else who is a band geek like me in high school, normally that's the one thing that gets cut off. Uh, so we actually reached out to all of the high school marching bands um, about two weeks before the event and let them know, hey, um, your band A is definitely TV, and uh, B, here's the hashtag, tell your band parents, um, let the other people know, uh, let your kids know. So starting at about 3 a.m., uh, we actually had kids in the band Instagramming photos on the bus on the way to the parade, which was really cool to kind of wake up that morning and see. Um, again, love HGTV Rose Parade without commercial. A lot of people. Um, there are two other kind of national syndicators that actually show the parade. Everyone else has commercials. We're the only one commercial free. Um, so it was great to kind of see people recognize that. Um, a lot of people love the Scott brothers, uh, the Property Brothers, uh, Jonathan and Drew. Any any fans here? Woo! Um, they are just as charming in person. So um, just to let you know. Um, and then uh, here is one of my favorites. Uh, Mom doesn't know when she'll be able to use the restroom thanks to her amazement uninterrupted. Right. So um, we're so used to like what like I can go to the fridge can take a pee break. Um, so not having commercial is kind of um, a different way for people to, uh, to enjoy to TV and to watch our programming. Um, and so this was about an hour into the show, just another... We want you guys to tweet us. We want you to tell us what you think is the best material you've seen, the organic material. And I'm actually going to take a picture of these right now. And I'm going to tweet this. Wait, HGTV, hashtag HGTV New Year. I can't and do all that at one time. I just got a marriage proposal. <laughs> Another one. Maybe you guys can tell me which brother you think is more handsome. <laughs> um, we got a lot of responses to that. Um, uh, they also, for those of you who don't know, they actually have a show called Brother vs. Brother um, that we didn't put up the hashtags, but um, it's hashtag Team Jonathan, hashtag Team Drew, uh, and that actual hashtag that we haven't promoted on air for about six months started appearing on New Year's Day again because of this type of thing of who's dreamier, who's the better real estate person, who was, you know, um, who do you like more? And so this type of kind of um, integration into the show is what really kind of 
uh, kicked off the day and I think led to the success. And so I don't kind of want to bury the lead. Usually, like, the end slide is like, and then it was awesome. No, I'm going to tell you how awesome it was right from the beginning. Um, So we actually passed um, our best social media week by about 2 o'clock in the afternoon on that one day, um, which was kind of huge for us on the phone, kind of celebrating that win. So we showed over 1,000 tweets on screen, uh, 26,000 for hashtag HGTV News, bunch more. Um, Each of the individual brothers themselves had about 5,000 mentions, which is awesome uh, for our talent. Um, And then according to Nielsen's Twitter Twitter ranking, we actually were seen by about 2 million people, 2 million unique people uh, across Twitter. Um, These are just some of two of my favorite tweets. Um, HETV has become a new bravo, swapping housewives for houses. Um, it's always good to, you know, someone tell you you're actually beating the competition. Um, and then, again, just another one of, like, how awesome. Do you want me to switch mics? Let's check. Oh, there we go. Much better. Maybe. Um, and just another one that kind of reassured us, like, hey, you know, I, I actually appreciate the content that you guys are putting up on the screen. Um, we expected a lot more haters of, like, um, what's this crap doing? Why are you showing all these things? Um, and the the kind of noise of that was significantly lower than, than even we expected. Um, so how did we get here? Let's um, jump in your favorite uh, time machine, uh, whatever, whichever one you prefer. Uh, and we're going to go all the way back to June. And uh, when I first threw out this idea of doing the Rose Parade, uh, everyone was like, oh, it's a great idea. Um, I don't think we have the technology to do that. And I kind of got that answer a bunch of times. And so I finally found out who on the broadcast side. And they were go like, this guy Peter, he handles all those systems. Go talk to him. Um, and I set up some time. I went to his office. And I was like, hey, this is what we're doing. And he said, we knew this day was going to come, and we're ready. <laughs> And they were super excited. They're like, I've put this stuff in the budget. I knew this was eventually going to happen. We're excited. Like, we think we can get it going. And so there's this magic box. um, And it's called a Vertigo. And it's made by this company, Miranda. And it's what powers all of our uh, on-screen graphics. So anything that's not baked into the show. But it has the ability to actually pipe in data. Um, And we've got two workstations. And we're ready to go. Um, when do you when do you want to do it? And I was like, well, we're doing this thing called All Premiere New Year. Um, and he was like, what's that? I said, well, you know the Rose Parade? And you know how kind of cumbersome? We don't do live. So for anyone who knows HGTV, like all our stuff is shot, um, preloaded into systems. We don't do live other than the Rose Parade. And I said, you know, let's start with there because it's already live. I think we'll be able to do it. And then the ball got rolling. And we said, well, um, on New Year's Day, though, we show premieres all day long. So there's actually like 13 hours of TV that you've never seen before. Some are new shows, some are new episodes. Um, So this is what the list was. So we started with the Rose Parade, um, Island Hunters, anyone that wants to buy an island, uh, tune in. Um, If you can't afford an island, you might enjoy Beachfront Bargain Hunt. It's all houses that are under $300,000. So all, you know, everyone's kind of freezing through most of the country then. Um, We're showing them really cool, you know, Caribbean life, vacation houses, uh, boom, we take you to Alaska, uh, then the dream home, uh, and then the interesting thing was that buying and selling, which is another vehicle for the Property Brothers, ended that night. So we were like, all right, perfect, this is a good bookend. Um, you know, they're going to start the day, they're going to host the parade, they'll go back, they'll take a nap, and then they're going to come and live tweet at the end of the day, and we were going to be happy with that. And the marketing and the programming folks said, no, 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 we're going to have people, we're going to have our, all of our celebrities tweet all day long. And so we had um, like 200 of these hats. I think we still have like 120 of them left somewhere. But um, so we actually sent to all of our, all, anyone that appears on any of our shows, um, we sent them a bunch of kind of paraphernalia and told them, hey, post photos, you know, share, um, chat with your audience during the day. And then we had individual folks assigned to each hour-long block. Um, And so you'll see kind of, you know, they posted um, some really great stuff about New Year's. They shared a little bit of themselves um, with their audience, and it worked out really well. But I came back and 
we were like, all right, we had the plan, and they said, okay, um, how are you going to pick the tweets? And I said, oh, yeah, um, we, we, we're not just going to put up everything. So I had to go out and find a company. And so we worked with a company called um, Telescope. There are a couple of companies that do this out there. I'll be around afterwards. I'm happy to talk to you about kind of how we got to this decision. But um, we've been working with them. They're great. They do Idol. They do The Voice. They do a lot of big stuff. Um, so we were super excited to work with them. Uh, and then it was Thanksgiving all of a sudden somehow. Um, and then it was Christmas. Um, and then I really wish I did have a time machine <laughs> because it was getting really close. And uh, the day before, we, we had been doing a couple of tests uh, and then the week between Christmas and New Year's, we said, okay, um, you know, we, we actually need to push something out. We, everyone wants to make sure, so let's do something at like noon on that Tuesday. Um, and we're like, great, no problem. Everything's been running fine. And we go to push it out. And um, we get um, the spinning uh, ball of death. On all of our on all of our machines, um, and not only to the point that we couldn't push anything out, but there was this kind of cascade effect, and it was like, um, for anyone who's ever done like a drama production, you know, like everything in the dress rehearsal that can go wrong will go wrong. Everything that could go wrong went wrong like three days before New Year's Eve, um, and so we had a lot of running around, a lot of off hours stuff, um, but luckily, what it taught us was, hey, if this happens, now we know how to fix it. Um, so it ended up working out really well. Um, day went off without a hitch. So on top of TV, we actually had a whole bunch of blog posts throughout the day. You were able to go and drive. We were driving people to the landing page um, that not only had all of these uh, social mentions, but also um, all the photos. So there was someone curating the photo wall. Um, all the tweets were kind of, um, we let them go, and there was kind of just a, a couple of filters we placed on top of it for you know, natural language and things like that. Um, but the question is kind of, okay, well, how, do you, how does something get from Twitter? We saw 36,000 tweets. Only 1,000 of them actually got on air. Um, so we, this now takes at least three people for this to happen. And so what we have is one person watching everything coming in. So we can go in, set up a bunch of parameters that say look for HGTV and HGTV New Year and... Um, uh, uh, property Brothers and all of the names of all of our talent and it's just going to keep populating and it's going to spit out a bunch of stuff. So there's one person that all they do is bookmark stuff. And they're clicking and they're just sending stuff that looks good, um, that doesn't have bad language, that's not too long, um, it doesn't have an image because we haven't been able to, to get those on screen yet. And they're just, they're kind of first line of defense there's another person that's now just going through all that bookmark stuff and saying, um, okay, out of those 34 bookmark things, I need 12 tweets for the next segment to put up on air. Um, so they're going kind of real time. They've got, they've got to go through and find those 12, get them up there. Um, and then once they actually show, they delete it, rinse, repeat. And the way that we know we need 12 is everything that happens on TV um, is scheduled, and there are these people down in our headquarters in Knoxville that all they do, they're immense Excel wizards, they stare at boxes all day long, and they figure out, um, you know, 12 plus 3 plus 9 plus 15, and they get it to equal uh, exactly 60 minutes in that hour, and they figure out all of our ads and all of our overlays, and so they actually worked and put together this whole grid and said, okay, um, this is the window that you potentially have, this is the maximum amount of time that you can put tweets up on screen. So segment one, you're gonna have three minutes. The next segment, you have a minute and 50. We're leaving every tweet up for 10 seconds, so we can have 18 tweets in that first segment, then 11, then 14, then 10. Uh, the thing is, is that this goes on all day long, and so every three minutes, we're having to find another 12, 18, 11, 16 tweets for 11 hours. And so that's how we all spent our New Year's Day. They're about, uh, <laughs> There were about 10 of us that did that. Um, luckily, I was home in New Jersey. Everyone else was in our office in Knoxville. Um, I had like a bank of, I had a TV, two monitors, my iPad, my phone. Um, I'm, I'm surprised I didn't get a suntan from all the radiation from coming off of everything. Uh, and then actually my role was, while all they were worrying about was what was getting on TV, 
someone still needed to talk to those other 35,000 tweets that didn't actually go on TV and thank people um, and answer their questions about the dream home and what was going on. And so this is what my moderation window looked like all day long. And so I'm looking for people that just talk about HGTV, people that are actually using the hashtag, um, people talking about whatever show is on, and then we've got this kind of, um, what I can do is basically say like, anyone with a more than 50,000 followers, I wanna make sure that I see them um, if they're talking about one of our parameters. And so they kind of had this dedicated window and a lot of it was our own uh, personality, but every once in a while you find someone that might have been an influencer in some area that we find out. We kind of flag them, thank them, um, give them a fave on, uh, on Twitter. So this all went great, everyone's excited. So now, uh, what's next? And so we all joked, we were like, oh, you know, I think we'll have like a month or two before we have to do this again, like we can come re reset. And I kind of joked, I was like, oh no, they're gonna want this by next Sunday. I was about a week and a half off. Um, so tomorrow night, uh, Renovation Realities is showing on HGTV and we will be live tweeting uh, from eight until 10 o'clock right in prime time, doing it all again. Uh, so now we've got it down to, it takes about five people to pull this off. Um, we're hoping that we can get this down to like two to three people from their house and then there's someone always in our broadcast ops booth anyway. Um, if we can get it down to that, we'd be uh, really excited. So um, this is everything you need to know about me and that is where you can find pretty much C Powersman on uh, anywhere. So thanks for coming out.